if you see it on a patient, it looks almost too simple to believe that the therapy is doing what, what we say it does. So how does high VNI technology work? What are the mechanisms of action that really benefit these patients? So there's a couple of things. The obvious is that high VNI technology adds heat and humidity in a medical grade vapor that greatly benefits the, the amount of secretions that these folks have in their upper airways and then deeper down. Secondly, it provides a turbulent airflow that washes um, any CO2 from the upper airway nearly instantaneously. This is really important in people with work of breathing issues, especially if you think of a, a bronchiolitic child breathing at a rate of 60 or so. You need the efficiency of high VNI technology to purge that upper airway of CO2 and to provide a reservoir of treated gas um, that they can breathe from. This is where precision flow, high VNAC technology really shines over competitors because of the high velocity flow that's provided creates an efficient environment for doing that. Some of the other products are excellent for people that are breathing at, at normal rates, but when you get sicker people, you really need the efficiency um, and to deliver that, that therapeutic gas deeper down into the lung. So precision flow offers the ability to change three values. One is the temperature, and most of my patients I treat on about body temperature. I stick to about 37 degrees. Sometimes folks that are on chronic nasal cannula oxygen like their temperatures a little bit cooler, but otherwise I don't touch that. Second, their flow. The flow really depends on the amount of therapy that they need. Most folks, if I'm gonna initiate therapy, I'm gonna start right at the max therapy, 40 liters, um, which is as high as, as precision flow goes, because I want to treat those patients most effectively right up front. This isn't like non-invasive positive pressure where we kind of start at a pressure that they can tolerate and try to ramp it up. It's totally different. You're going to get max therapy right away. And then if you want to back it down, and I do sometimes mostly for noise, the f those folks have uh, um, some difficulty hearing. And so I, I turn that um, flow down. Uh, but only after they uh, have really turned around and you're starting to see the benefit of high VNI technology. Um, the FiO2 is separately adjustable, which I think is really important for folks with COPD that may be, uh, may be um, oxygen sensitive. So what I have found is that if their exacerbation is mild, um, those folks will do at or better than the oxygen level that they're on in, at home. So if they're on three or four liters at home, you're not even gonna need that much when you put them on high VNI.